Edmonton. My name is Joanne and I'm here to tell you all about raising hens in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. In the previous video, we talked about keeping you and your family safe. In this video, we'll be talking about keeping your chickens safe. There are a number of potential threats that can compromise your flock. Pets, wild animals, and people may spread disease to your chickens. The word used when referring to securing livestock from these types of threats is biosecurity. Ideally, the location of your coop should be away from other backyard operations. You can put up gates and signages to let others know that your property contains birds. Wild animals and wild birds can also pose a threat to your coop. Avoid attracting unwanted guests. Promptly clean up any spilled feed and litter. Keep food in sealed containers. Fortify your coop, thereby protecting your chickens from underground, air, and ground level entries. You can do so by placing hardware mesh two feet into the ground surrounding your coop. Store any dead animals in a sealed container until they are disposed of according to provincial and municipal regulations. Collect and store eggs daily. Dispose of garbage and any broken eggs appropriately. As an owner, you can also protect your flock by regularly washing your hands before and after entering any poultry housing units, designating a change of clothes and boots specific to poultry work, and thoroughly washing egg collecting trays, feed and water containers, and tools. For visitors coming to your coop, Maintain a visitor logbook that records contact information, purpose for the visit, and if they have been in contact with other birds, including their own, in the last 72 hours. Provide protective gear, including booties, hairnets, plastic gloves, and clean coveralls. To reduce the risk of spreading disease, avoid borrowing from or sharing equipment with other bird owners. Record keeping is also an important part of biosecurity. Such things to keep records of are all incoming birds on your farm and breeder contact information, list of supplies purchased, visitor log, management techniques, and veterinary reports. These records are necessary in case of emergency, food safety issues, disease outbreak, or food recall. If a bird gets sick, record the date, signs of disease, and age of the bird. These can include lack of energy, movement or appetite, coughing, sneezing, lack of coordination, swelling, diarrhea, pale combs and wattles, or sudden death. If you suspect or have a confirmed reportable disease, you must report it to the office of the chief provincial veterinarian within 24 hours. If you have a sick bird, remove it from your flock and quarantine them for 30 days and watch for any signs of illness. A quarantine zone is a location on your property that is separate from the main flock. If you have a small yard, your quarantine zone could be a section of your garage or on the other side of your property. If no signs of sickness are detected, place the birds in a separate pen for a week in an area that allows them to be seen by the other birds in the flock. You can do this with any new birds that will be joining the flock. This allows the flock to become accustomed to the new birds that will be joining them. And last but not least, educate yourself. Keep yourself up to date on health and safety concerns and all the latest biosecurity updates. Educate your family and neighbors. Create a culture of health and safety on your property. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching and learned a thing or two about hand keeping in Edmonton. Special thanks to the Canadian Food Inspection Agency for the information in the video. They've also created a couple of videos on animal biosecurity, which I think are worth checking out. I put a link to those videos in the description below. Feel free to also follow them on social media. Thanks everyone!